Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apple Cash and more specifically, we're gonna go ahead and go through the steps on how to set up your Apple Cash on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Apple Cash, neither am I. So I do a lot of videos on credit cards and payment systems that are set up through the apps like Cash App, Venmo, and one that I keep encountering is Apple Cash. So I've had an Apple iPhone for quite some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. And the way you wanna do that is go ahead and go to the settings for your Apple iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up now. And if you don't know which one that is, it's the gear icon. It's not an app, it's already pre-installed on your iPhone. Phone. I'm going to open it now. All right, so I went ahead and opened up the settings for my iPhone. So here on the settings, you can change things like your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, notification settings, things like that, and even change your Apple ID. But we're not going to worry about that. In order to set up your Apple Cash, what we're going to need to do is scroll down. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit further. And once you get here to this menu, it's called Wallet and Apple Pay. I'm going to click there now on this little arrow to the right. All right, so I went ahead and opened that up. And then what's going to happen here, it's going to show any kind of card that you have attached to it with your Apple Pay wallet. So as you can see, I have my Chase card, my Wells Fargo card, just various cards I've already added into my Apple Pay. We're not gonna worry about that. What you wanna do is click this top option. It's called Apple Pay Cash. And as you can see right here underneath the bottom, it says not set up. So I'm gonna click there, but before you click there, make sure that this is toggled to the right, Apple Cash. So you can see mine's green. If yours is white, be sure to slide it over and that way it shows up as green. So I'm gonna click right here on this line, Apple Pay Cash now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked there and then this pops up. It says Apple Cash and it has a view of an Apple Cash card, kind of nice looking. But they're telling me that you can set up Apple Cash card to send and receive money and messages through Apple Pay. So that's pretty nice. So I guess it might be some sort of a competitor to Venmo or Cash App, something like that. So I'm going to click this little button right here on the bottom. It's called Continue. Just be sure you read the warning right now that they will be sending card related information, location, device settings, because this is a payment system. I'm going to click continue now. Next, these terms and conditions pop up. It looks like there's a lot to read through here. A couple of interesting points. It looks like Apple Cash is serviced by a company called Green Dot Bank. If you don't know Green Dot Bank, be sure to go back and watch my other videos on them. They're a popular prepaid debit card company. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. It looks like there's no monthly fee, no per purchase fee. The only fee that it looks like is associated with this is an instant transfer to a debit card. So if you're going to withdraw money from your Apple Pay Cash into your debit card, they charge a 1% fee with a 25 cent minimum and a $10 maximum for instant withdrawal. So go ahead and scroll down. Just read everything. If you agree to it, go ahead and click this button right here on the bottom. It's this blue one called agree. I'm going to click there now. All right, it says it's setting it up. It's still thinking. All right, it's taken a few moments. All right, so it took about 60 seconds for that to go through. And now it says Apple Cash is set up. You can now send and receive money in messages and make purchases anywhere Apple Pay is accepted. It's letting me know that the money I receive will be added to my Apple Cash card in the wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click done now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. And now you can see the Apple Cash is now active. So right here, it says I have a zero balance. It no longer says that I need to activate or not active for my Apple Cash. So that's pretty nice if I want to send or receive money. One thing I do want to know is you start off with a zero balance. So if you want to add money into your Apple Cash account, you can do so with any one of the cards that you have already associated with your Apple Pay. Pretty easy. You just click on this Apple Cash button. I'm going to click there now. Once you're here, then you come on to the Apple Cash payment card settings right here on the top. You can click add money. I'm going to click there now. Once you're here in this screen, you can add a dollar amount or you can use one of these quick functions. I'll just click $10 right now. All right, I click 10 and there it is right there. And you want to click this button right here, top right. It's called add. I'm going to click there now. And then once that happens, you get the option to choose the funding source. So it'll automatically choose your primary funding source for your Apple wallet. You can easily change that. Just click on this blue arrow right here on the right. Or if you want to use that funding source, you can go ahead and just verify with your touch ID like mine. I'm not going to add any money in right now, but there you go. That is how you can set up your Apple Cash card on your iPhone. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you know an easier way to set that up, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found it useful. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next video.